Alright, welcome back guys. It's your boy Bert coming at you with another game of Warcrack Warcrack Legacies. <laughs> um, we got another 8v8 here. Um, it's going to be on 3.4.0. Um, got a fun one here. I watched a little bit of this live through the Discord when I woke up this morning. Um, a little, couple little different back and forth, so I kind of know a little bit of what happens. Um, but the nitty gritty details will escape me. So here I'll try to do one of the faster um, intros here um, because I actually want to start my videos with following how somebody you know does their starting setup. So what we're gonna do here we're gonna follow Shadow Elites on um, uh, Dollar on here so you guys can kind of you know watch one of the openings starts with Altar of Knowledge couple of different work just making a ton of farmers to um, put his buildings together but yeah we have shadow elites on dollar on um, so I'm gonna leave him in the number one spot over here but then we're gonna have um, what looks like to be yep, crimson on Lord on and we have sorry this is kind of difficult uh, fail giver on quad loss and then their teammates are going to be druids over here in Kalimdor. Druids are going to be. Looks like it's Hahei. And then um, Sentinels. It's going to be Diodon on Sentinels. And then it's going to be Gideon on Cows on Draenei. And then there's. It's going to be the. Felhord uh, um, alliance with them. It's going to be Danatos on Felhord and Exterior on Illidan. And then their direct matchup is actually looking like a tough one. It's going to be Dragozer on um, Kulturus, SMC Skeleton the Return on Stormwind, and the G on Dwarf. And then up north, it's going to be Aelion and Techno Pig on Legion. Easter egg is over here. Um, he didn't go with goblin. He went with trolls. Um, and then uh, Alan on horde and Soggy on warsong. So let me get over back to Shadow Elite so we can kind of watch the opening. And we're good. Let's put these back on the people I wanted them on. I think I want this on Danatos and this on. Hmm, let's go with Alio. There we go. So we can kind of keep an eye on the heroes down there. Starting with the Arcanists and then pushing out a bunch of Geomancers. Don't see any of the regular foot troops, so it looks like he skipped them. Or I, I don't know if the builds just changed now, but also just creeping this control point with summons, resummoning to tank, using the wave. Mm. So yeah, I actually played a few games today. Forgot how rusty I was, but it's only like. 20 seconds behind on my openers when I played today, so it really wasn't too bad at all. But I enjoyed, they were fun games, some of them a little one-sided, so none of them really worth, uh, actually, yeah, both of them I played that were pretty one-sided, so none really worth um, casting, but this one before I started playing was actually pretty decent, so probably just my own skill issue. Uh, I think this is this looks like tier three to me. I think this is already at tier three, so um, had to make an arcane. Oh no, I think the arcane well is already there. So yeah, actually four four on lumber, six on gold mine. I think creeped this side first so we can get these buildings and whatnot, and then came over to this side just creep over here. Oh no, unlucky. Oh no, this tower's just taking names. What, what is he doing? Was he upgraded to tier 4 or something? No, he was getting a bunch of Hydromancers. Mm, I don't know. Using anything over here? Doesn't look like it. I'm on Shadow Elites, right? Yeah, I'm on Shadow Elites. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this a little bit more. Um, just following someone's opening so you can kind of see what to build. Um, help educate people that are watching the videos that, um, that are new. Um, kind of give us a main character to follow rather than just a bunch of random factions because it gets so confusing in 8v8 who's on whose team. You know, gives a little more focus to the videos. 
Now we have the summons from the Hydromancers. Rank them up to Adept already. What are we at? Rank 0 on... And rank 0. So only ranked up the Hydromancers once. No way. <laughs> K Risen. Lost Arthas. Creeping. All drug mountains. I'm glad we didn't follow him. Or a, a perfect example of what not to do. But uh, don't lose Arthas while creeping, guys. <laughs> That's good. That's good stuff right there. That's hilarious. Still spamming? No, we're spamming all kinds now. Kieran Tor already coming out. I don't know if he already finished uh, tier 4 or not, but... Down into, uh... Jintha Oler. Can't pronounce that. Um, first to creep. Pretty much getting Kieran Tor as fast as they can. It's turn 6, halfway through it. I don't know what that uh, completion was. I'm guessing it was... Oh, now we're researching tier 4. I've not unlocked Alaron yet. So the summons, using also using Shadowfang Keep to make Kirin Tor, but also the summons from Shadowfang Keep to farm up here. These initiate mages are from the summons over here. And maybe the observatory. I didn't know they added those rocks. Um, Hinterlands are cleared now. Oh, I thought there was creeps up there. I don't think, I don't think there were. Um... And then head south to Arathi Highlands. It's kind of nice to have more to creep now as Dalaran. There's actually like an area to creep. It's kind of nice. Just creeping with the water elementals up front. Ooh, now we have these mud golems. I'm guessing those are from the... Yeah, Geomancer is a depth level 1. Still initiate on the Arcanists, but Kirin Tor is showing up. This place is not... Something that I've learned, whenever you have this arcane aura, just use your, just use spells to creep. Like, your Kirin Tor could be casting the entire time. Whenever you have this arc brilliance aura, just, just cast, you know, creep faster that way. Oh no, she's missing a lot. I feel like this is a good amount of money. This is at least like 200 gold over here that he's missing out on. And it's only turn 7. Like, it's good to be together, but, um, uh, definitely could have queued them up to go far more. But... Looks like we want to be ready. Dollar on secured now. Tier 4 completing. Oh, no. You don't even need tier 4 complete. You just need to... Um, yeah, someone has to take care of Daryl. Yep, there we go. Nice. And tier 4 is done. Research. Looks like these are just a bunch of extra units. Trading Kirin Tor out of the Violet Citadel. Citadel and Shadow Fang. And then just waiting on uh <laughs> yeah i wish i could do that too right now waiting on it's kind of easy to creep this dollar on <laughs> that was not that hard i mean i guess he made it look easy he was spamming a lot of hydromancers just getting one of each caster group it looks like just 12 of each kieran tore out still just jaina right i don't think he uh still just jaina no uh antonitis Still farming away with the initiate mages. Oh, looks like we're sending out some... Getting ready to drop on other continents already. Just preparing since it's time to micro right now. Wow, I, we should, I didn't know there was a gold mine there. Dalaran could easily be farming that. I like this. Seems like a good plan here. Okay, that makes sense as elf. Just build all of the mages down here so they don't have to wait for a model to walk. Okay, I guess you're never late that way. Killed off all the peasants, plenty of time. Turn 9, halfway through it. Looks like things are going well. Let's check in on on... Yep, okay, looks like the fight's breaking out here. In Kalimdor, in the Barrens. It's a pretty good flank here. Um, the ton of dire horns that they're going to have to work through. A ton of Torrin. This is exactly what you want up front as Horror. You just, even if Warsong was in there, it'd be better. Uh, Diodon just poking all by himself. <laughs> Oh, no war song if you just would have gone up. I guess it no, never mind. He would have gotten flanked, but could have been a good pincer, but Oh yeah, there you go. Kite back a little. You're not ready for that engagement. All the dire hounds up front here. Where are these chain heels? Where's our chain heels? We need chain heels coming through pretty soon. Plague is launched, so we're gonna peek over there in just a second here. 
Um, this, oh, look at, oh, okay, this is Boston Country stuff, but, but, yep, Chain Heal's finally coming through, the, the Burst Heal's coming out from the Priests, um, Siege Engine's firing in the back, Fairy Dragons are deployed, but not many spells are gonna cast over here, they're probably like, a lot more effective over here. Um, yeah, we need to fall back over here, this Draenei should have, this Draenei Clump should have definitely been in the front, not... That's tough right there in the back. First here in the Bundo might get caught, maybe not, doesn't look like it. Um, look like we're just cleaning up Plague now. Alien's coming out of Skullamance now with, um, who was his backup? I don't really remember. Techno Pig right behind him. Calendor, yeah, War Song's nice. This is like a nice concave for them. They're hitting everything, but yeah, they need the, they really need the chain heals in there. I don't even see any. Okay, there, there's a Farseer in the back there. I have not heard Chain Heals. This. There they are, finally. There they are. Oh, that's too little too late. I don't know what took so long for me to hear Chain Heals, though. Um, Alright, moving straight into... Oh, classic Dreadlords. Walking straight in and getting popped. Oh, and Mana Burned down, too. That was quick. Um... Oh, a zero fragment just sitting there. Who's gonna I wonder if anyone's gonna pick it up? Let's check in. Ooh, Felhorde. Fighting straight into Colterus. Looks at his siege giants up front. Storm and champions. Ooh, a flank! Okay, look at all those healing wards down. Dang. Um, this is not good for the dwarf site here. A lot of a lot of waves coming out. Let's see if they're gonna catch King Magni. He looks like he's gonna be just fine. Um back there in up front. Um Jaina, no, not Jaina, Catherine Proudmore wrecking these casters right now, but it looks like, yep, nope, they got finished off a little bit there. Um, oh, Illidan just went down up north. Murden is way in there now. You have to watch out for Murden. Are they going to focus him? No, it looks like he's kind of getting hit, just, but just naturally. They're not focusing him yet. And Thirden's in there. Executioner's going down up front. Now yeah, Black Cannon's low. He needs to get back. Oh, Murden up front. Oh, oh, yeah, he actually gets picked off there. Um, that keg, keg of Thunderwater's on the ground there. Um, this fight is really close, so we're going to keep an eye on this and see how this one goes. Um, looks like the evil side actually cleaned it up. Yeah, there's just enough um, Illidari here to finish this one off. But these heroes are still pretty low, and this control point is... I don't know what level it is. It doesn't show me. I wish it would. But it looks like they're kind of still holding here. Oh, nice. Reinforcements from Blackrock actually might do the trick, but Mortar's in the back here getting to fire in for free. I don't know if they have the shrapnel off, but I can't really check. Engineers... Showing up here. Um, looks like they actually might have a fight here. Bolvar and Varian going in with Dalen right behind. Um, and Theridan coming over to directly face them. Um, looks like someone's getting focused. Yeah, Dalen needs to back up there. I didn't see if the Stormin heroes died. Looks like who's that up top? Varian's still up. I think Bolvar might have died. Oh, okay. Catherine gets taken out? I think that was Catherine. Yep, Catherine got taken out. Um, uh, damn, this army's so low, and like these heroes over here are pretty low too. Looks like that one's gonna stay close. Oh, and it looks like oh no, Falkalos just getting beamed down here and stuck in Dalaran. They all need to back up into Dalaran, but it looks like Scourge and Legion completely overtook whatever was going on. Dang, that's a bummer because they look. It looked like it was gonna be a pretty good choke there, a pretty good fight, but. Um, what happened here? Horde's falling back all the way to Stonewall. What about Warsong? Yeah, they're getting run over. It looks like they're losing over here. Sending out the summons to try to creep. And they're fleeing Kali, apparently. So it looks like Night Elves won out up there with Diodon and his crew. Looks like we're trying to fall back into Gilneas here and creep as much as we can on Dalaran now. Okay, so the only interesting fight should be down south then. Okay, they're pushed back all the way to Nether Guard Keep. Um, oh, Chain Heal's coming out. I don't know who has Chain Heal's. I think it's the... I don't exactly remember who has Chain Heal's, but Chain Heal's from the Illidari crew. Um, oh, um, all of those uh, Proudmoor elites, what are they called? The Musketeers. Um, dropping down the gyrocopter swarm, and that did a lot of damage. They're forced to back off from now. Some death swarm side feed in. Ooh, these uh, el the casters need to get out. Okay, it looks like all the important stuff is going to get out. They're just sending through the summons from the portals right now. It looks like, yeah, they're going to back up just fine. And okay, so let's take a moment here. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. So mm, that actually looks horrible. Let's just pause. Um, 
so we can get an idea of the game state right now. So Scourge Legion won the North Alliance fight. Their teammates on Horde completely lost the Kalimdor fight. And then it looks from the way things are right now. Oh, wait, Felhorn. Uh, what do these incomes look like here? So what, this is 220 plus 90, 310, and then 220. Okay, so the incomes are the same for this, this uh, South Alliance fight right now. But in terms of positioning, that's actually about to change. It's about to be like... A little bit, I would say, yeah, it's in the favor of the South Alliance team right now. So, yeah, pretty much, like, about as much as you can ask for, as good as you can ask for when it comes to having, like, a good even game. Um, this fight is pretty much gone neutral right now. Nobody has won it and, like, pushed through. No one, like, no one is going to be getting their, you know, special fancy elite units for killing off their matchup, but, um... The other two fights did get that, but they just go the other way. So, abominations are creeping. Ander Hall, capital. What? Our forces are under attack. He never got capital palace. That's right. Arthas died in creeping phase. So I guess that makes sense. Um, Strathalholm honestly just getting creeped by zombies. Um, so wait, wait, where's uh? Okay, no, though they're still here. Uh, did they fight finally? No, they didn't. It looks like this is still just getting crept. What, we got we got gold in these gold mines? Not that much. Um, I thought it might be more. Uh, what about these gold mines? 350. 350. These always just have 350. Yeah, so there's some gold mines around here for them to... Oh. Oh, fight's taken out. I didn't, I didn't notice. They went right back out, it looks like, and they pushed straight through him. Let's see if Varian goes down here. He's getting healed by the musketeers, it looks like. Oh, King Magni too far out up front. Let's see if we're going to be able to slow him enough. Looks like he's going to get away. These conjurers up front, they need to run. Oh my god, this is all so squishy. He's gonna be cut down so fast, except for that. Yep, Stormwind Champion, but he goes down too. Luckily, they got these buildings in the way to hopefully help them from getting killed off too quick, leaving behind the summons to tank the gank. Black Hand gets up to level 8. Level 8 on Illidan. No, level 7 on Illidan, level 8 on Akama. Yeah, Illidan got focused first. Oh, it looks like they're getting macroed over here from down south. Looks like these bears from Cult Terras are macroing Zulgareb. And they have the Western Stranglethorn. They're pinging down here. What are we pinging about? I think these are just summons units, so they have more coming at units coming in for um, Felhorde. Let's check in where the armies are. Where is the G at right now? Wait, it looks like this is all of South Alliance down here. Not much to show. Oh, if they can pick up some demolishers, that's gonna feel good. Let's see if the dispels start coming through. Oh, oh, there they are. Yep, they're paying attention. There it is. Oh god, it feels so good. Um, all right, so Capital Palace still not taken, so no permanent death Uther. And yeah, Dollar Inch is creeping uh, Gilneas right now. I guess probably getting a good amount of money from it too. I guess yeah. Let's check in on that real quick and see what those scoreboards look like. Easter egg with 400 bank, fail giver with a 900 bank. That's our, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's our um, Quelta Lost team. He's building up towers. He's falling all the way back to the well. Seven on the, that's a druid, right? Yeah. Druid with 700. They're finishing up Creeping Cali. Orgrimmar has fell. Let's check in on Stone Mall. Oh, Dalaran has gotten um, this part, but unfortunately for him, no, he is Druid team. Okay, good. So he can fall back here whenever he needs to. He's with the Night Elves. Um, Stormall fallen. Looks like everything's been taken now by um, the Druid team. Let's check in. Who else got a bank? Aside from Failgiver, just Alio. So Scourge, that's what we expected. And he's down south now. Looks like we're... T Ooh. Yep, looks like we're chasing down um, Dwarf here and Stormwind. They're running in. Ooh, Sentinels have come over. So is that allies? Yeah, that's allies of Felhorde and Illidan. Sentinels have arrived on... That's Diodon coming in. Um, that's pretty good, pretty quick, because they cleaned up quick. So yeah, 27 control points on him. Illidan moving in. They're following all the way back into Stormwind. But I do not think they're aware of this down here. Kulturus, Warsong, and Scourge are ready to come in and flank them. Yeah, those are all on the other team. Um, Scourge, Kulturus, Stormwind, yep. Um, so some of Stormwind's here, some of um, 
dwarf is here, and they're moving up to the gates right now to go ahead and barge in. Okay, they should be aware now. I don't know if anybody's pinging it for them, but... Yep. We're getting... Oh, careful. Yep. Do you don't know yet? No, it looks like he's gonna take the trade here just because it's abomination. It's gonna mow him down pretty quick with these huntresses. Okay, you need to run, do you don't? What are you doing? This should just be a feed on Aisha. I don't know how he got that far under the... I don't know what he was looking at. Maybe Maev up there. I remember her being up there. Okay. Didn't lose much though. Oh, are we losing all the priestess though? Um... Uh, oh, I need Discord, but I'm deaf in, so if you hear people going in now, that's me. <laughs> Sorry if I <laughs> got anyone with that, but the fight breaks out. This is the biggest fight of the game. Crown getting popped on what I'm assuming is probably Mac Theridan, but we don't really want all these squishy Nido up front. Um, Maeve running almost down. Looks like they need to push out a storm when it come help with this fight the best they can. This is a just grinder, beat grinder on this bridge. You see they're like not throwing everything into it right now because like but yeah it's like it's just too much you kind of just have to attack move at this point because your frames are going to start dropping um and Nubarak is see he can't even enjoy this fight uh, i i don't know what's going on guys can i like press all yeah enjoy that miss enjoy <laughs> enjoy this visual right now just miss all right <laughs> But we can kind of see, looks like, yeah, there's still some Sentinel's units up front there. I don't know how they survived as long as they did. Naisha's up front. Illidan's still up front. From what's down here, it doesn't look like anything really died. Yeah, still no heroes dead. So that was just a huge fight. Oh, there's the, to push it over the edge. Legion comes in from the north and just claps everything on the north side of that fight. So that flank was brutal, it looks like. Um, yeah, all that chaos damage had to feel really good. Archimon coming through. He's running them down. They need to run everything down and get in front of them if they can. I'm going to try to... Yep, yeah, okay, Frostworm's doing it. They can easily get Antonitis here. So all these... Stormwind is in here. This is enemy. These Fellstalkers are not a part of this big cluster that's running. That is on the other team. Lady Vosh better go down here. Oh, those chain heals came in just in time. Um, pieces of the moon standing there. Sorry again, that was my Discord. Got you if you looked. Um, what are we? What are we killing off right now? I don't know what's dying back there because I can't really tell. Uh, oh, it's the trees from Druid. They, uh, I think that's the Cenarius thing. Kozak's in there right next to the Doom Lord. Looks like okay. Yeah, looks like we're picking off. What's dying here? Some of the Legion stuff's dying here. Classic Fet Dreadlord's dying. Feeding Doom Lords. Classic Techno Pig. There goes, uh, who's the orange one? And An Anetheron's dead. Unlucky. Now we're gonna pick up some free farm on these druid dark minions. Druid of Talons, yeah, okay, I just clicked on the wrong thing. Um, remaking Frost Worms, using the summons still. Um, bombers coming out from Cold Taras. we'll see how those get to get used here in a second. Um, they have a little um, salvo that they fire out and it stuns for a second, whatever it hits, in an AoE, so it's pretty good. Um, we'll get to see a good amount of that. Mountain Giants up the front, 1-2 upgrades on um, Druid, 2-2 two -two on Fell, 1-1 one -one on Legion, is that 2-2 two -two on Dwarf? I think it is. 0-0 zero -zero on that, uh, Kulturas, 4-4 four -four on, damn, Ugh, meat wagons are not a good choice, 4-4 four -four on Scourge. Lots of death knights. Definitely want to be fighting with that. We're going to stalemate on the bridge here at Karazhan. Deadwind Pass. What's going on up north, guys? Is it interesting? It is interesting. Legion's fighting off the remnants of North Alliance right now by himself. Uh, uh, hold up. Oh, Archimon is alive. He stayed down south. So this is just a splinter group. That is very smart. I would not throw an Archimon with whatever this macro force is. But it's mostly just Succubi, Infernals, um, and <laughs> Dreadlords. Uh, Dreadlords dying, the res has come through from... Wait, but the X-Star shows up fighting for North Alliance, so now they definitely need to get back on Legion. He's fighting for... Oh no, it's just 3. 3v1. Three um, Where's Dalaran? Are we okay on Shadow Elites? How we doing? We're down south, fight, hanging out behind Fel. That's probably pretty smart. Um, level 10 Jaina, that's gonna feel pretty good. Um, let's check back in with Techno Pig as he runs. It's not working. There we go. Uh, it's, not, it's not showing me that dreadlord. I think when they go invisible, it stops letting you like jump to them. Okay, nice. 
TP coming in from Scourge. Horde showed up to help Scourge, so that's something, but he doesn't have any control points. How does he still have five is my question. Still macroing with Abominations. Not wanting to push into this yet. Probably pretty smart. Probably, probably need to clean it up, though, so that Quelthalos doesn't just get to do whatever they want. Do we have mages here? Yeah, there's a whole group of mages. You lose this group of mages if the Sunwell falls, so that is something. Let's check in with... Alright, yeah, looks like this fight's gonna start breaking out. They're poking and prodding because they know Scourge left and went north. So, Gyrocopters trying to start the initial damages. We're feeding some Legion units, it looks like. Yeah, let's back up on the Doom Lords, guys. Feeding Fairy Dragons. Feeding Mervin himself. Let's see how he does here. He's gonna be fine. I thought it was gonna be interesting. Actually, pretty good cast on those casters there, good damage onto them, and look, the little, yeah, the little swarm gyro bombers actually helped finish those guys off, so that's gonna feel pretty nice. And here's the bomber crew, the bomber squadron. Try to keep an eye on them during this next fight. Archimon's coming over to put some big AoE down on this bridge, or feed, we'll see. There's Macaring up here, I just jumped up here, there's a ping, looks like, oh, the fights are gonna take place at the same time again, I'm sorry guys, we can't see everything at the same time. So let's try to go to Alan on this so we can see um, if that fight breaks out and we're ready for it. This fight is just still poking and prodding. These guys are repositioning, falling back. What happened to Lord Aron, though? Skullman's dead. They're not at Tyr's hand. Okay, here is... Ooh, okay, we're getting out Arcane Annihilators. That's going to be pretty good. This fight... Okay, finally, here we go. Looks like it's kind of taking place now. And there's those rockets, those mini stuns, so that they're not able to really hit or do much. They may be getting one hit in between the mini stuns, and they're frontlining, so it's like... We'll see if they get much damage in. That's gotta be a good cast. Is that... Yeah, that was from Archimon. And that's starting to burn things down. They're also getting that storm on top of them. Here... Oh, tons of heroes dying up front. Wow, they just melted up front. I didn't get a chance to click on any of them. Mac Thereton going down too. He needs to run. I think he got his keg off and got some heals off on him. He's starting to get out of there. Chandra is just firing from the back. Illidan was not up front, but he would have melted, I guarantee it. Again with these gyro bombers. Look at look at that stun. Just keeping them here so they can get destroyed while they're trying to run away. Just all that extra damage. It's basically a slow at this point. Yeah, that's perfect. They're losing so much because of those bombers right now. Where'd they go? There they are. We'll follow around these guys. Oh, that one's getting low. Okay, I need to fall back from that control point. That control point's gonna screw you up. Yeah, Dragos are just microing these, slowing up everything. He's honestly strafing, doing strafe runs on these guys right now. Just, of course he is. <laughs> Oh, I can't hold it and do both at the same time. I was going to see if I could, but sorry about that spam. Um, got to be careful with them around this control point, though. It's chaos damage, doing a lot of damage. Right, it looks like this choke is going to be where it goes out again. A lot of... Uh, that's a lot of the Felhorn summons. Chain heal's finally coming through. Dalen runs straight in and it gets melted. Healed a little bit. Does he get out? Oh my god, how did he get out of that? That was insane. Did I accidentally increase the speed or something? No, this is regular game speed. <laughs> like, this is just how fast with the speed auras and stuff. Oh my god, that heal came in just in time again. I don't know how he's still alive. Now Chain Heal's coming out from the Illid inside to keep everything healthy and fresh. Um, Storm inside. Did Damon just die? No. Okay, no, he's still good back there. I'm trying to click on this hero right here, but I can't. Because I see him the next going down. That hero right next to him just went down. I think it was a... Um, yeah, one of Danatos' heroes. Back there in there, he's up front, he's about half health, Orsong running in on him, he wants him, Jaina needs to get back, yeah, Jaina, yeah, Jaina definitely needs to run, there's flame shields down, those are really good flame shields, just ticking away at a lot of this, uh, is this the alliance forces, this is the alliance forces, so team one. Oh, is that, yeah, Jaina just went down there, and Antonidas went down there from Catherine's, uh, bombardment spell there. And Bolvar needs to get back. He just used Divine Shield and got healed up completely. It looks like they're retreating back into the portal. Let's check back up north. Whatever fight took place here, they won it. Okay, well, Quell is still there, so I'm guessing a fight didn't take place then. So let's check it on Ilio. 
He's killing off Dalaran. No. Yeah, this is Lordaeron. And he killed off Exodar too. So he was over here 2v1ing both of the blue blue colored teams. Oh no, they're trying to make their final stand, but it looks like this one's gonna be a loss here. There's just too much scourge. If they can move though over here and let things filter through, things are gonna start dying a lot faster. Yep, Saffron moves herself over the top here. It's gonna get a attack off? I'm waiting for an attack to get off. And dude, it's the fucking granary. <laughs> but um there is a boat here. Those air need to focus the boat. Yeah, there you go, Saffron. Scaring the boat away. Already slowing it. Good. Yeah, they need to share control though if they're gonna get away on that boat, and I don't think they are. It looks like they're all gonna get cleaned up here. Let's check back down south. Nothing going in, nothing going on. Forge just starting to clean up Quelt the Loss. And this cleanup's happening over here. Yeah, even using cast. This is happening painfully slow. And a res from. Is that Arthas? Is Arthas up? Oh no, it was uh, Gelthazan with the res. And yeah, Draenei gets picked off completely at this point. Alright. These guys are still held up here. Horde finally going after Silvermoon. Taking out. Is that the last Elven Runestone? This one's down. This one's down. And this one's down. Wait, no. I don't know where the last one is. Our forces are under attack. Skill issue, I don't know where the last one is, but looks like they're all down now. Silver Moon is vulnerable. Oh, I don't even know who else I would need to check on, really. Okay, Druid is still over here. Druid is still attack. over here. I didn't know Sonarius died. Um, Malfurion hasn't revived. 200 income. Um, oh, he was in that fight um, at the bridge. Um, at Karazhan, so never mind. He just TP'd home, it looks like. And it looks like the fight for Hellfire is going down. Stormont's up front. Archimon out of position here. Uh, he's not actually out of position because he's on this team. Back with the Bombers again. They have two one upgrades now. And oh, look at all those squishy units. You're going to see him start falling so quick here. I want to click on the front bomber so we can see it maneuver. Yeah, they're going to keep going back and forth here. Yeah, they're gonna keep slowing up everything there. There's the oh, night, really nice um, infernal drops there. Get those Archimons ult. Yeah, looks like they're just throwing their rocket stuns into there. That's gonna hurt really bad. And just more of this fell hard for is just getting picked apart. I have to think the team one just needs to fall back. And they're doing it. They're running. Good. Oh god, here we go with the bombers again. Here, if I flip on the top one, it probably looks a bit better, but of course it's not going to go with everything else now. So yeah, he's looking at him, he's just slowing him down as they're trying to run away. Oh, are they going to really get her? They did get her. Another Priestess of the Moon goes down. That's just an elite. It wasn't the actual hero. And then. Oh, chasing Lady Vosh over here. Oh, the Ashtung Mystics are the ones with Chain Heal. Okay, so now we know. Trying to use Taunts. Dragos are using Taunts to try to get Lady Vosh over here. Let's check back in really quick with everyone else. What's happening? I want to check in on... Um, see if this fight over here has happened yet. Nope, still haven't pushed in. Let's go check in on Lady Vosh. Still running for it. Okay, yeah, all the Taunts. The speed boost as well. Proud more missing peons. Every single hit there, just straight up missing. He really was trying his best. Why are we heading back in? Oh, because Archimon's on the other side. Lady Foss still trying to run. Dwarf showing up. Spawning in Fellstalkers. And we're back with the Giant Bombers, slowing down the last few units of the Rodari here. Lady Foss finally goes down. Jesus, that was a long chase. Pinging over here. So we got some fell buildings, some fell infrastructure. Elio coming back down to Stromgrad. Sentinel's coming over to meet him with the macro. Looks like Sentinel's gonna feed some levels. Love that. Still no Arthas on the field. They have taken capital though. Taking 
Yep, they have taken a uh, shot on him. Who's under attack? Stormwind heads straight on in and takes out the power generator, the cannons. Like Theridan is on the run, he does have a TP. Or is he going to TP too? He needs to start it now before they go in and focus on him. Or else he's losing that keg. Ooh, this painful watch. Getting picked off here. Stun comes through. Oh, someone TP'd out. I missed it, but someone got out at least. And right there, and it goes down. Horde poked and regretted it, it looks like. And Starion trying his best to feed. Chain Lightning's coming through, that's a lot of damage. Magus, they did not heal in time. Oh my. Unlucky. Uh, Scourge finally figuring off Dalaran. But that's okay, he had to participate in southern fights. Has he just been getting all the income here? Yeah, has all the con not all the control points down here, but a couple of them. Probably could benefit from having all of them, but... Eh, it's just missing one. But when you only have six control points, that one goes a long way. Sentinels have fallen all the way back to their side. Right now, this is our fight at the moment. Ooh, Druid's coming from behind. Yeah, uh, hello? Failgiver, pay attention. Go in and fight. Um, Druid's coming from behind Horde here. Um, okay, I guess you could just mix out, miss out on all that XP. Just give it all to the Druids. Feed it into them. The Rex are barely staying alive somehow. I feel like he was dead a minute ago when I first moved my camera over here. Now he falls, finally, but yeah. Looks like just cleaning up the force. Failure to finally notice. <clears throat> Running out to the left, I don't see a TP on... Doomhammer and Assassin's Blade falls there. I don't see a TP on Vol'jin, so all these units are going to get cleaned up. What is this, 90 times 5? Plus 100. Just losing 600 gold there. Hate to see it. With only three control points, you definitely hate to see that. Always carry TP kits. What's happening? Just more units getting picked off here. They're just creeping outland, and it looks like we have a slow point, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that speed up button. Looks like Zandalar is still trying to rat. Classic um, third horde team maneuver. Third, okay, Felguard's to, I'm guessing, macro. Who has heroes that are alive? SMC maneuvering down South Alliance. Um, Fels, or er, yeah, these are all on his team. They're just trying to pick off a comma here, but damn, he's fast. Trying to get surround. Nope, he's got nothing. Got killed off a few units, so at least there's that. Slow it up a little, just to make sure I'm not missing any fights. I'm waiting for a bunch of pings. Oh, there's TP coming through. We'll watch this. We'll speed up. Where are we going? Where are we going, Elio? We're here to go fight druids, it looks like. Yep. So the 200 income of druids versus the 500 income of scourge. 6-5 armor on these guys. 2-3 armor on these guys. Yeah, that's not going to fall easily. So let's look here. We have a TP on the Ghost of Scenarius, Doomhammer, and Assassin's Blade. Definitely don't want to hand those over. Horn of Scenarius, Staff of Prez, Mother, the Mother Tree on Malfurion. Level 10, he, God, he has to run. He's got to get out of here. Ping's coming up, but they're up here in the north where we're already looking. A bunch of Keepers of the Grove, and they're, f and they're in full retreat. Job's done. Job's done. Alright. Doing their best to take this engagement here. Let's check in on SMC. He's cleaning up the macro units of Sentinels here. Sentinels sitting at home nice and cozy, not doing nothing. Job done. And it looks like we'll hold at this bridge for now, this abomination going in to poke. And he'll at least do his job of get the disease on a couple of the units, so good for him. Restoration down on <clears throat> a couple of their units. Heading down south on Sentinels. Where are we headed to? There's something to creep. Gotta go clean up this macro, it looks like. Okay, 
again, cleaning up more macro. Like, yes, the macro is amazing. Ton of money. Let's see, Sentinels has 500 income because of it, but getting some levels on the extra heroes. Let's see, will this get Magni to 10? No. Doesn't get Magni to 10, but Bolvar's 10. The Comp is 10. Varian's 10. 11 on Trollbane. Galen. 9 on Chen. Moving back out of the Dark Portal. Finally leaving their safe space. Let's check in on them. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Danatos. There we go. So you got his hero group back. Looks like they're on the Broken Isles. They TP out here. We got a boat out here and started making a base. But Sentinels had already creeped it, it looks like. Yep, Sentinels already macroed all of it. So are there a ton of macro units here somewhere? Coulter Ostra Gozer came back. It looks like we're fighting here. Um, these Wicker Beasts, 3-1 upgrades, fighting into the heroes, and the dollar on heroes. Yeah, Black Can could definitely use 10 here. 10 on Mac Theridan, so that's gonna feel pretty good. Level 9 on... Is that Kargath? Okay, good looking. Yeah, Karga. <clears throat> Jane is level 11, so that's going to feel pretty good. Looks like, um, do the blue flight on... Oh! Yeah, okay, same team here. Um, Dreadnought came in over. He's got the Elk Knights and a pretty tanky squad. Looks like he's really just got a bunch of tanky units. A couple of casters in there. What's happening up here? Looks like Legion's going to be taking the... I have Garrus. Let's see, let's keep an eye on <clears throat> Archimond here, let's put him on, put him here, Archimond with Crown of Stormwind, Murmur, Book of Medivh, Killmane, and TP. Theodon speeding over. He's on the other team. So yeah, these were all the people at Kulturus, it looks like. <clears throat> Immediately running over to come fight. So, what are our upgrade looks like on them? 3-0 on Sentinels here. Coming over to the Moon Riders. They have split shot, right? No, they don't. But they're getting hit by the Doom Lords there. <clears throat> Dalaran coming in two over here. Looks like we're just gonna hold off with the Doom Lords here. Oh, the Doom Lords definitely. Oh, these are Doom Guards. There's Doom Lords over here, my bad. Misgendering the levels of Doom. Um, moving in on Sentinels. Archimon trying to TP out. This actually looks like he gets stunned, actually, very quickly. I'm not sure who that, I'm guessing that was by one of the Sentinels' arrows or some form of bash, but um, yeah, he needs it. This, this is not looking good. He needs to run out of here as fast as he can. Um, he's fully body blocked in. I think this is going to be the end of Archimon. He gets his spell off, he gets his ult off, casts, and he goes down. Draenei was even here to steal the deal too. Here comes Scourge. A little, a little too late, but they're TPing in at least. Um, oh! Is that going to get cancelled by the tower? Oh no, that could get cancelled if he's not careful. Oh, Elio! He TPs in in time. Instantly starts to jump on what little Sentinels group is up front. There's another race out front. 3-3 three, three on Draenei, so they're not to be messed with. Yeah, 3-1 on Kulturos coming in with the cannons. Again with the bombers. Here they come again. A couple of them go down quick. Oh my god. Here we go again with the frames. Get ready, boys and girls. This fight going down. Yeah, definitely need to fall back. A lot of set Sentinels lost a lot there, but Draenei's kind of sticking in it for a while, but they, they see them trying to run, and they're coming over here trying to cut them off the best they can. There's the sun from Stormwind coming through. Um, who is that? Yeah, Waycrest is way in there right now. Um, looks like she's going to get focused down. She got healed right there at the end. Um, looks like they're trying to cut him off from getting out here, but who's else showing up? Um, so Fel's finally showing up. He's joining this fight. Do we have any more reinforcements coming in? No, it looks like Scourge is kind of just running them down here the best they can. They're really mad that they took out Archimond. Uh, Ross is here. Stormwind's in here. 
losing some elites on sentinels. Yeah, Stormwind's kiting. Er, no, Scourge is now kiting back. Stormwind will to us on the northern flank of this fight. Draenei is now turning. Now they are turning to take the fight. Looks like this choke point will be it, and this choke will pull it. Yeah, a little kiting back and forth here. How are those gyrocopters doing? Did they get taken out? TP coming in from behind from Buffalo Loss. Yeah, so they show up right into the side of Druids here. What are they hitting? I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, no, they're on Druids team. So they come in from the side there. Losing a lot of Scourge out front here. Yeah, losing a lot of the casters on Scourge there. Definitely need to back those up because they're definitely not taking the fight right now. Um, this Kulturas artillery needs to get back though. The siege is going to get picked off very quickly if it's not careful. Yeah, losing a little bit of it. Damn, those cannons are squishy. Only 450 health. The air is just pounding into Iron Forge. The air of Druids there pounding into the a few Iron Forge units there. Look at all these lesser Doom Guards because of uh, the Skull of Cool Dam. That's funny. Moving back in. Ooh, who's in the middle there? Cargaz Blade Fist getting focused down. Barely runs out. He gets stunned by the Stormwind stun. No chain, absolutely no chain goes from Vegas. They are busy auto attacking. They could not be bothered. There comes the shield out from I think that's Jaina's ultimate. Um, this fight breaking out now too. Wow. Lots of, lots of shiny fights in this one. Ton going on. Anubarak out front here, he's getting focused down, he needs to catch some chain heals, but he's getting pinned. Aisha up up front, they're also running here too. Wait, these guys aren't on the same team. Yeah, a whole bunch of, looks like a little flank from Illidan there, getting into the back line of Kulturas, so that had to be a really pain in the ass. Sentinel's still spamming units in to try to help with this fight. I'm gonna leave the teams up so you guys can see who's on whose team. Uh, yeah, Stormwind Heroes getting picked off, and they are in full retreat. So somehow, even though that huge Scourge Force was here, and it looked like they had a good flank, the fact that they were able to sneak out this left side and regroup with Fell and other teammates here really changed the game there, or else they would have gotten completely wiped off the face of the earth. TP's already coming through. Already moving on. Finally, Arthas is up. Where are we TP into? TP's coming in for Jaina. <clears throat> there they go. And they are up here now. Oh, they're about to run straight in Frostwolf. Frostwolf doesn't even know it. Um, but they TP'd in like this. So here they come out from the trees. Now they notice. They're backing up. Dang, he should have gone straight in there. I don't know if he has any of the speed scrolls, but I feel like he could have done a lot there. Lifts up onto some of the Farseers, but it's uh, an elite unit, so it'll come back down pretty quick. Drek'thar running for it. This spell's coming out on the Serpent Wards. And here we are again with Horde. Uh, Frostwolf fighting Druids over <laughs> on a different content on North Alliance. What's going on over here? What forces are under attack? Boat. Cleaning up Kulturas on Fel and Illidan. Some units left over, it looks like they're calling out to each other. Let's go check in on Druid again. Yeah, we're just running for the hills on Horde. Back to their fortress in Capital Palace. Yeah, pretty back and forth if you take a look at the control points. 500 on Scourge to the 430 on Sentinels. 200 on Dragos just called to Ross to the 200 on the Druids of who's playing it? Ah hey. Arcane Annihilators are coming over. Quilt Loss is setting up a base in the middle. Or he just hasn't moved out from the last fight, and I think that's more likely. Probably wants to remax first. Not much income on him. Arriving back to Stormwind on transport ships is Stormwind themselves. 
Nether pits trying to macro down here. Just a cluster F of buildings. Huntress is coming in. Diodon cleaning up up north. I wonder who's going to be fighting next. Still chasing down these... Uh, Still chasing down Horde here, it looks like. Feeding a couple mountain giants, but they're running over as fast as they can. Creeping with the. I'm finishing off the control points with the summons. Old Jin gets pinned down and taken out from the hero squad of Keepers of the Girls and Scenarius. Doomhammer on Scenarius. Level 11 on Scenarius. Level 11 on Valkyria. 13 on the, what looks like Jada behind. Looks like just macro over there. Part of that fight. Cleaning up what Jaina brought up north. Some Draenei stuff they could clean up over there too. <clears throat> but yeah, Horde is forced to run. Oh, let's get on our boats and get out, boys, before they get picked off. Looks like they're just trying to grab a few more kills, is what I'm guessing here. Or is a flank coming through? Am I missing a flank right now? Uh, let's kill the Don's heroes, says the G. Oh, looks like they take boot down south. So, Sentinels. It looks like this is just Sentinels and the Fell Horde, TP down south. Um, Storm went in and fell, going at it. Uh oh. Yep, you need to get out of there. Hope's done on black end. No. Oh! He didn't, didn't, guess he didn't have woodwalk. Well, he is out. Nice 100. I do not know what is going on with somebody's shop right now, but we are definitely going to move to someone else. Oh, this shop. These shops are what is doing it. Okay. Never mind. It's just happening on our screen, so. Again, Kulturas with the annoying little gyrocopter spam. Does he have another flying group set up? I don't see them, but looks like this is where the fight's going to take place again. There's also that one ultimate coming through here. They should be taking a lot of damage if they're not careful. They might be back up. Jaina coming to back up. The Felhort side. Sentinels are here too, but this is a very big group. Here comes Scourge from the side. Oh, they're gonna smash straight to the side of Sentinels and Jaina here. That is not good. Wow, they TP them right there onto the troll stuff. Um, that shield coming out, it looks like it got canceled pretty quick. Scourge needs to head straight in now. Yeah, I don't know whether they're backing off there. They should just charge straight in. It looks like it's not gonna make much of a difference. And they're running down Sentinels here as fast as they can. Mag Theridan and Fell getting out on that Goblin Pavartir. Um, Maisha running to the back corner over here. TPs from Naive and Jaina to try to get out. So yeah, just put them in the back corner. They'll TP you if they can get out. But it looks like they're going to get picked off. Jaina gets out. Oh my god, she just barely went down. Did she get out? No, she went down. And Mag Theridan gets out on the boat. Our allies' town is under sea. Our forces are under attack. Oh. Oh, he notices. Who is this? No way. And they're microing too. No, he needs to drop him off on the short. <laughs> oh no, they go down. Were these? Oh no, these necrolites were just stuck on the shore. I think and they lose all those units. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I don't even know if he had any items left. I guess they would have gone right there, right? Done. Oh no, okay. Oh, oh, North, I'm sorry we were missing action. Uh, Druids into um, Scourge here. Scourge already TP back north after killing off Sentinels down south. So, oh, yep, there's that. Already coming back in North Alliance. What are we at? 413, 23 control points. Keep an eye on EPM, see what's going on in that neck of the woods. The higher ones, 1v4 on Shadow Leads, he's on Dalaran. 
200 on SMC Skeleton, that's what we expect. 280 on Fell, on Enclop. 200 exterior. Yeah, they're moving quick. I can't macro, it says. Dwarf, he doesn't want to macro anymore, he's over it. SMC coming with a TP, even though I meant to click on Dwarf, that's perfectly fine, let's check out Dwarf. He's pushing out, his team already owns all this stuff, we're going SMC. We TP to the Isles. And help Kulturis take this back from the Sentinels it looks like, after their big defeat from earlier. Let's see, Sentinels has some stuff here in Maelstrom, Akama's running around. What's happening up north? Horde, is, Horde still hasn't left. <laughs> Ford is just being as annoying as possible up here, thinking all the fights are taking place elsewhere. Just role playing, understandable. Um, when you lose your early game fight, but could probably could have been some a part of some of those lower fights. Uh, any fights I'm missing right now? I don't think so. I feel like Diodon would have to be a part of them. The Naru's in here from. Who's playing it? Gideon. Dwarf is chilling here. Let's check in on control points. Just a little macro we're going down over here. I'm going to go ahead and speed up until the next fight happens. The next big one. Running away on a comma again. So Dion has to be there. Elio has to be the next big fight. Who else has a lot of control points that will be part of the next fight? I guess Sentinels already have that on the screen. Yeah, it looks like it's not quite taking place yet. Town is under siege. Macro, 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 building up here. Sorry if anyone's getting dizzy, but just trying to keep track of all the action. Boat from Night Elf headed north. Towns are under siege. Flagship sitting right here. Scourge is taking, finally taking Dalaran's macro, all of his economy from him from here. It looks like Illidan came up here and leached some of the ex, uh, money too. Alright, here we go, here we go. So what do we got here? We have Dwarf, Stormwind, and Kulturus coming in on the right, fighting off Fel. Looks like Mervin's feeding like usual, and Fel's pushing into it with... Both loss and the Sentinels right close behind. Oh, we see chain heals, chain of popping rolls as quickly as possible, shielding and fell troops. Uh, a lot of areas going down in front. Uh, storms from both sides, it looks like. We can see this in the back firing. And Tinnitus just needs to cast spells. My character just needs to get. Wolf motors in the back, firing away. We're on black hand up top. I hear, oh, and here comes just Scourge covering your screen, blackening the skies, and all the gyrocopters coming over the top, too. This is going to push them back if they're not careful. Yeah, Quad Velocity, you see all these units just melting to the AoE. Oh, beautiful mist coil from. Arthas there picking off a ton. Mike Theridan goes down again. Antonitis finally chain heals. Finally chain heals come through on the Magus. I didn't hear any in that fight, but also couldn't hear anything in that fight anyway. So now you should gonna get picked off here too. It looks like she goes down. West's on the screen. Yeah, we're running out as fast as we can. But those crosswinds are gonna keep tracking things down. Looks like all the artillery of. Um, well, the loss got away, but full retreat now. Looks like Draenei's also running. Looks like they were showing up to the fight, but a little bit late. So they're getting picked down. Giedon sharing gold to who are we watching? Shadow Elite, so Dollar on Dollar to. Oh. Dollar failed to TP out there? They did. Unlucky. A wins in there. Oh no, her and the Kirin Tor are gonna get picked off. She ain't gonna get away. Here comes Draenei. I'm lucky that they're just barely late to the fight, but that fight did happen pretty quickly. It's just a matter of who can TP there faster. And then I guess 
whoever couldn't then needed to wait for their teammates to TP, so she would just fell back, so not much you could do there. Um, and now he's getting stuck in the middle there. Legion's coming flanking from behind them to the Exodar here. They're trapped in the middle, they're gonna lose everything. Druid trying to come in to save the day, it looks like. Fighting into... Oh! GG's come out. Alright. I don't necessarily... Looks like... Yeah, okay. It looks like the Scourge team won there. Elio just left pretty quickly after the game. Um, and that's going to be the end. Go ahead and skip to the end of the game so we can see the score screen. But thank you guys for watching again. This one was really fast. Much more fast paced. Back and forth. 888 units killed on Scourge. Sentinels, their rival there was 800. Even though Col Ross was pretty down all game, Dragozer still somehow got uh, 683. Probably to do a lot to do with those gyrocopters, so that has to feel good. And yeah, let's check in on heroes is killed as well. Most from Alio. Oh wait, it's not. Most from Diodon makes sense. Sentinels, a lot of range uh, troops to focus down heroes. Alio, then Dragozer again. Oh, nine coming from. Thanatos and Illidan, so their evil team was doing a good job of focusing heroes, but um, yeah, it looks like that was a good game, guys. Thanks for the suggestion. Um, we'll catch you next time. Bye.